Hello. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Microsoft PowerPoint to draw ER diagrams. Actually, at the end, uh, I will try to create a template and share it with the class so that you can use the, this template to copy some elements and then uh, use it for your ER diagram. So uh, we will have rectangle. Let's add the text here just a sample text and this rectangle let's make shape fill no fill and let's go to shape outline more lines here and here we can choose this double double line or shape outline dashed more this one let's choose double and increase the width to make it six so we have double the rectangle now let's make our simple rectangle here and text make sure let's change the color of the text to black so that we can see it and now this one shape fill no fill and let's add a text text it is white let's make it black so this is simple rectangle let's a little increase the width so that it is it's too much let's make it two two is good so this one yeah pretty much what we need so now let's add owl one here let's copy this and paste it here and now diamond here also let's yeah let this larger and diamond here also we will have two lines sometimes one line single line and sometimes a copy of it we will have double line for the owl when it is derived we will have dashed so this one we copy format painter click on this part and copy click on this part and hopefully it will work yeah this one works as well so now we double click on it and we create this let's get a copy of this one here and let's go to the dash type now it is good so let's copy this text so click on this one right click edit text right click edit text edit and if you need you can change the size so now let's call this one template so this is our ER ER diagram template please do not change so this one we will just copy from it if anything needed we, we, we can add to here later so shape fill to make sure that and use control e to put this one in the center and shape outline let's make it black which is good okay so this is our template so here if i want to create anything so let's assume that i have entity student and it has three properties 
and let's copy this one copy the three of them here so I will bring this one here I will say student and then control C three times paste this one here and then this way now I can paste this one several times make sure that you exactly grab this part and you see the dots that appear make sure you see them because this way the two shapes are connected so here you see the dots are dots appear so now they are connected this means that if I move this anywhere the line will move as well sometimes the it is like this one it is here we think that it is connected but when we move uh, it you see now if you move it it is there is no connection so this way you can save time if you need to rearrange your shape so we will move this one here and this one here simply if you have a composite attribute let's say one of these attributes has three attributes itself we can copy this and come here and this one goes to here it goes to here okay and this one now you can work on the rest of the file you can get for example student takes and here we create another entity in this part we create another entity with some attributes in here to save some space you can change the sizes so now let's move this one to the right a little so a student takes some course so we might have double line let's have both of them here so this is course so the course should be taken by a student otherwise it's not a course and maybe we make it optional for the students to take them if you want to add numbers then you can add insert text box here and write any number one or m or n anywhere that you like okay you can even what you can do you can add it to your template here as you see let's add this one here to our template and also to make it visible you can change the uh, let's write something in here I will write one and in the center to make it visible let's add a little dash just some dots yeah this one is good and let's make the color something that is less visible like this one you see gray now you see it but it's not part of the diagrams so you can have this one in here and copy it and paste it one more time in here now you can select and group to these shapes group them group now they are one shape so if you copy this to your new slide here you have everything together okay 